Hello. I'm Carol Searle, and I live in Fielding, and I'm very proud to say it's go the turbos. I live in the man work in the Manawatu. Uh, I'm the CEO of MASH Trust here in Palmerston North. We all present masks, all of us, for the role that we're in at the particular time. So to many, I'm a mum, I'm a wife, I'm a nana. This is my manager's look, usually accompanied by dog bottom lips, something like this because I'm very serious when I'm a manager. And this is what people see me as, and this is what a lot of people know me as, is the various, in the various roles that I've had over the years. What they don't see is the seven-year-old that travelled to New Zealand with my mother, a three-year-old sister who's in the audience today, and an 18-month-old brother. My parents immigrated to New Zealand, and I think we owe them a huge vote of thanks for ensuring that we had a far better opportunity here than we would have had in England. The only thing is that they've also added to our clan with two spoilt, overindulged Kiwis who are younger than us. They don't see the seven-year-old with a broad Cornish accent who went to the dairy to buy an ice cream Cornet and got sent to the music shop. <laughs> Um, they don't see the, the Kiwi, the young seven-year-old who was asked to read the spelling list because I had such a cute Cornish accent. I didn't think I had one at all. I just thought everybody else in the country did. Um, I didn't know what I was going to be when I grew up. I wasn't very academically inclined when I was at school and I had to skip, sit school C twice before I got it. It's now called NCEA. I left school at 16 and I had my first son very shortly after that, and then I met my Don. We've been married for 46 years, though he will tell you we've been going around for 47. We have three wonderful grandchildren and eight, um, so we have three wonderful children and eight grandsons. When the kids were little, like most families, um, I worked part time in the weekends at a rest home, and I sewed plastic pants, for those of you who are old enough to remember what they are. And later I became a school secretary, and when the kids were a little older, I started working for social welfare as a records clerk. I saw the people working on benefits and pensions, and I thought, I can do that. So I did. After a time, I started working in, in an area that dealt with people with disabilities, and I loved it. And I was promoted to a role in national office. After my first couple of days, I told Don, that I was sure that I wasn't up to the job because everyone in the team had degrees, they were using big words, I couldn't understand what they were saying, and he said, did they wave their hands around when they talk? And I said, yes, they do. And he said, well, that means they don't know what they're talking about anyway, so <laughs> you can do it. So I did. So I started extramural studies through Massey and I got a certificate in rehabilitation that was nine papers and I thought I was pretty special. But I'm pretty shallow and after the graduation I thought, I quite like that ceremony so I'm going to do it again but this time I want to have a cap. So I did. I got my Bachelor of Business Studies from Massey and my work journey took me through a number of roles until I became a Deputy Director General at the Ministry of Health. See, anyone can do it with a responsibility for disability sports services, still showing people the corporate manager mask. I've been privileged to know many wonderful people in, throughout my life, family, friends, work colleagues, people receiving support through the roles that I've had, and they've all contributed to enriching my tapestry in one way or the other. One thing they taught me was to live life to the full, so I intend to grow old disgracefully and continually get out of my comfort zone. I mean, who thought I'd be doing this? And rather than hide behind the roles that I would do. About five years ago, I started to learn the guitar. In my head, I play as well as Mark Knopfler and Carlos Santana. In reality, well, not so much. Of course, all aged musicians need a trendy hat. So I did. So I did. <laughs> I love my Cole Clark guitar, my hard body electric is not bad, and I even have a crybaby wah-wah pedal. That makes me just about the trendiest nana to my eight grandsons. <laughs> so where to from here? 
The next milestone ahead is what retirement might look like. What do I want to do? I know I want to continue to work in the community and preferably with children and young adults. I know I want to watch my amazing grandsons be the wonderful men that I know they will become. I definitely know I want a bigger amp for the guitar with far more bass. But my main issue is I still haven't quite decided what I want to be when I grow up.